Today on ComTech Engineer, we are going to go over the absolute best gaming controller on Linux. What if I told you there was a gaming controller that worked 100% hassle-free on Linux, was cheap, was made by a reputable gaming brand, and had all the basic features needed for modern video games, including a sport mode button? Impossible, you say? No, nothing is impossible with Linux. For those of you who have seen my content before, it shouldn't be a surprise, but we are of course talking about the venerable, the impenetrable, it slices it dices, the Logitech F310, aka the absolute best gaming controller money can buy for gaming on Linux. Now many people will ask about the DualShock PS4 controller, and yes, I have gotten the PS4 controller to work with games on Linux, but I've also had strange reliability issues where the controller would randomly cut out, or I would have to restart the game, or even restart Steam itself, for the computer to recognize the controller again. That is why I recommend the Logitech F310 for anyone and everyone gaming on Linux. It's cheap, and simply works every single time you plug it into the computer. So let us now cover the features of the Logitech F310. As I mentioned before, it can be purchased for about $14 used on eBay. Starting with the front, it has two analog sticks with click-down buttons. It has a D-pad perfect for any fighting game. It has four action buttons, Y, X, B, and A. It also has four center face buttons. The Logitech logo itself is actually a button, which the manual calls a guide button, or keyboard's home key. We also have start, back, and a mode button. What does the mode button do, you ask? Well, according to the manual, it indicates flight or sport mode, which swaps the left analog stick and the D-pad. I have tested this feature out in games, including flight sim games, and it doesn't really do anything for me, so I leave the mode button off. Now moving to the top of the controller, we have four triggers, a right analog trigger, a right button trigger, a left analog trigger, and a left analog button. Moving to the back of the controller, we have a slider button labeled X on one side and D on the other. What does this button do? Well, consulting the manual again, this slider puts the gamepad into either X input mode, which is the more modern controller input standard, or direct input mode. Direct input mode is an older input standard for the Windows operating system, and here on Comtech Engineer, we want absolutely nothing to do with the Windows operating system. So we will, of course, leave the Logitech F310 on X for X input mode. X mode sounds way cooler anyway than D input mode, and don't read too much into that sentence. Now that we have covered the cost and features of the Logitech F310, how does it feel in the hand, and most importantly, how does it feel to play games? Well, the answer is amazing on both counts. The controller is comfortable in the hands, buttons are responsive and easy to reach, and the layout is very familiar to anyone who has played a PlayStation in the last 20 years. It is capable of playing a variety of games, including first-person shooters, arcade fighting games, flight sims, RPGs. The Logitech F310 handles them all on Linux perfectly without a hitch. Simply plug it into an open USB 2.0 or 3.0 jack and you are ready to rock. So are there any downsides to the Logitech F310? Well, for the price, I say no. I can honestly only see two downsides to this controller. One, if you want a rumble feature, you will have to look elsewhere. And two, it only has a wired connection available, no wireless. Those are features that cost money and would easily double the price of the Logitech F310. If you absolutely must have rumble, there is another controller made by Logitech called the F510 that has dual vibration motors. From, but from my research, it is very hard to find. I could only find one on eBay, and it was over double the price of the F310. And I also have no idea if it has the same compatibility on Linux. Realistically, if you want wireless or rumble, the PS4 DualShock is probably the way to go on Linux. There are many people that game happily on this controller, and more power to them, but here at ComTech Engineer, we value simplicity, affordability, and reliability above all else, and for those categories, the Logitech F310 excels in all areas.